This game is rated M for violence, blood and gore, strong language, and usage of drugs. He came and from dusty shall return. I am complete. And we're back on YouTube for episode four of the chant. I'm Spark with Sparkfield Gaming, and today we discover that Tyler's grandfather Monroe Anton is far more alive than initially anticipated. Though I don't know how alive you can be when your face bears a greater resemblance to teriyaki beef jerky than your standard Dark Souls Hollow does. Which is a sentence I seriously never thought I would say, so let's just get into it. Oh. Maybe this is the last chapter, and what are you looking at? Thank God you're back. How's Kim? No change. Where's Maya? She's gone. Oh, God. First Sunny, then Maya. We're gonna die too, aren't we? No. We are going to do whatever it takes to stay alive. You talk to Tyler? Can we do the ritual? Tyler's being so... He said his prism can be used to control the gloom. He said we have to use Monroe's mask, but what is that? And what do we do? He won't say, he just yells. I'll talk to him. Are you sure? You have to be careful how you approach him. He can be very sensitive. Really going to talk to Tyler? Yeah. We need the red prism, right? What other choice do we have? We do. But Tyler, he's been acting so out of character recently. I meant to ask you, are you and Tyler, you know, together? It's complicated, but basically, yes. He's really helped me grow as a person, though I never thought it would end up like this. Yeah, no kidding. There he is. It. Tyler, we need to talk. Can't you see I'm trying to think? What do you want? Tyler, we need to recover your grandfather's mask. It's the only way to save Kim. Hannah, what did you tell her about my family? I told you never to speak of them. Hannah, why are you letting Jess run rampant like this? You're right. She's just a bit stressed. Don't worry about it. What? Crazy Jess, see if you can find the prism. Walk through the door. Oh, this is good. Walks to the door. Jess, what are you doing here? Where did you come from? Tyler, I'll be back soon. I promise. Jess, we should get going. Come with me. Where are you going? Hannah, stop! Did you get the prism? Yeah, I have it. He's going to be pissed. What now? We have to get the mask. It's at the old commune. The old commune? What's that? There used to be another group here. In the 70s, they lived in a commune. You know Tyler kept notes on everyone? Did the notes say anything about me? Yeah, doormat and 1.2 million dollar trust fund. Oh, that doesn't sound good. So, what is the story with you and Tyler? I was coming out of a messy breakup. Like, really ugly. He helped me pick up the pieces. At first, he was just a teacher, but then we just kind of clicked. He made me feel whole again. <laughs> what? Is my prism doing this? Jess, Jess, I can't leave. Is there another way? It's called the Spirit Trail. Tyler said he came up this way to get the mask, but some creature drove him back. Just listen on your radio. I'll let you know when I get there. 
What? Raise cultists to root and damage ground based enemies. Whoa. Okay, now one thing I want, I, I think I realized that I haven't stated yet is when the enemies glow with those weird, like, auras on their skin, and, I, like, it's not just the cannibals, I think, like, the gloom creatures have, have also done it. What I didn't realize is that these, co the colors they glow actually more or less correspond to the different colors of Prism. Now... I know that color coordination is a big theme throughout this game, but I wonder... No... There. Those came out of her flipping mouth. Those came out of her mouth. But yeah, I don't know if what I... It, they, they come and go so quickly, I don't think it makes any difference. Maybe each enemy type has its own type of armor? Oh god. This dude's got an axe in his skull. Oh. Oh, behind me. Okay, so it doesn't matter what kind of enemy they are. They the, Their armor is randomized. I don't know. Maybe that's a thing for harder difficulties. Being able to break through their armor with different colored things. I don't know. I also remember reading in, like, episode one, when we, like, first encountered the cultists... It said that each, it, it talked about like three different animals and how they behave. I wonder if the animals listed in that note pertain to the behavior of the cultists based on what mask they wear. Oh, I went the completely wrong direction. That explains it. What's up? I've just been thinking about Tyler and me. Do you think Tyler was just using me? That he never cared about me? I think Tyler's been using everybody. I can't say how much he cared, but you've definitely been very convenient for him. Yeah, that's what I think too. Thanks. That's Red Gloom. Imagine everyone listening to you. Everyone doing That's what you call a cult. I'm here at the Spirit Trail. Why is there so much static? I shouldn't leave Hannah. Um. Why do I get the distinct impression I've just made a huge. Macro massive mistake. Wait, I just thought of something. A lot of the gloom or <laughs> gloom creatures. Okay, a lot of the gloom creatures vaguely resemble plants, especially the mandacores. Are they plants? And if so, are we seeing the end result of their feeding process? That'd be terrifying. That's not a good sign. That's actually a very bad sign.
What? What? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Except a purple. Wait, maybe I need to get to. Phew. Okay, moron Anto. I was frightened and excited when I first drank the tea. I never tasted anything like it. I think it might have had mushrooms in it. <laughs> Imagine that mushroom tea. Oh wait, this isn't more on Anto. Uh, let's see. All the exercises and meditation paid off. I could feel it in every fiber of my being. I saw the vivid colors, the prismatic flow. I saw the living embodiments of prismatic science beckoning me to join them in the gloom. They were not afraid. And if they're not afraid, why should I be? All the worries about money, about being unable to take care of Lizzie fell away. It does, what does the love of one single trivial pathetic person matter when I am here with my brothers and sisters? Yeah, okay. Gloom Gateway. Anna, are you there? I saw some strange things, but it was nothing dangerous. The colors were beautiful. I could hear them. Anna, don't voices. flake on me. Ah, here we go. The Trudger is what I have named the Mimic Crawler variant that has separated me from Monroe and Slaughter, those with us. Like the Toxatile. Is that what that green thing was? The Toxatile? It is infertile due to the lack of its flower. So that is the Toxatile. But what about the blue one? It is. Okay, yeah. But it is so charged with prismic energy that it can rebuff any source of harm and even project that power from a distance. Its face, gossamer wrapped around a human skull. Jess, over here. Oh, you're out. Okay, cool. Anna, we made it. I'm glad you're okay. Jess. I feel so stuck with Tyler. What should I do? You don't need him, Hannah. You're strong. Stand on your own feet. I sometimes forget that. Thanks. You ready to go find the mask? Yeah, I'm ready. Why do I get the feeling that's going to be far so easier said than done? Prism, and we're getting the mask. And you think we can help Kim that way? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's the prismic energy that has her in that state. With the mask, I think I can rechannel that energy. If you had said that a few days ago, I'd say you are insane. <laughs> this is it. The commune. Holy fuck. It's massive. It actually Look looks kind of cool. Things. You see the large dome over there? No. That's where we're going. The way down's over here. How could I possibly see something so massive? This used to be some sort of greenhouse. What did they grow? I think food, mostly. Pretty sure they grew psychedelics, too. Different kinds. Tyler used to come here to harvest them once in a while. It's blocked. <clears throat> it's crazy how fast the plants have grown since the ritual. What do we do now? Look around to see if you can find anything useful. I'll check around here. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll just... Off... I'll just be being a loot goblin. Also, these each have a symbol. I feel like that's going to be... Hello. I feel like that's going to be important. Can I take the scythe with me? I think that would be very helpful for getting rid of the mimic crawlers and turning them into the mimic bleeders. Glowing alchemical plant added. 
Yeah, I get the distinct impression these are going to be very helpful. Heavy silver alchemic plants. I see. I need to make a special fluid. Wait a minute. Okay, toxic dripping alchemic plant. Isn't this the same symbol that you see on like uh, pharmaceutical stuff? <laughs> Farmstead. Key. Hey Hannah, there's no way through here either, but I found a key. Great, grab it. I think I might have found a way to remove the plants. I'm still at the same spot. What did you find out? Those glowing plants, they grow back as soon as you cut them. But you see the irrigation system right behind me? I think pouring the right mixture in will kill the plants. The right mixture? Well, do we know what it is? This note explains it, but I'm not sure I understand it. Can you take a look at it? This is pretty cryptic, but I do think I saw something like this once. I'm pretty well, sure each of the symbols represents a plant or a chemical. I'm glad it makes sense to you. I'll let you handle it. Yes, fortunately for you, you are in the you are in the presence of a real person. How to dissolve the glowing vines when they become overgrown? Follow the recipe to create the plants, the plant dissolving solution. Pour solution into irrigation system. Turn on primary valve. Okay. Make sure those symbols I put in. Okay. And make sure you use those symbols that I put in. Beach tried to memorize those symbols. Looks like it goes in here. This better work. I think we lack a means to turn the machine on. Oh, I nearly forgot this. Mystery entry. My wife's betrayal has damned us to a bastardized form of our promised ascension. Beginning with those most susceptible to mind eater possession. Mind eater? We have been slowly assimilating the gloom. Wait. Oh, no. Acclimatized to the gloom in mind, body, and spirit. Those first to change only survive in the gloom now. Their minds alien to our own. I can only conclude that they are no longer human. They are gloom creatures like the rest of us. And in time, this will all, this will be all our fate. Ish. Aha! <laughs> I tried to open that chest. I've been playing too much Skyrim. No staff of mage light for me. Speaking of, if you haven't seen my series on Skyrim, you should go watch it after this. Well, I saw something weird over there. Oh, this thing counts. Like a... Well made of crap. What's this? What is in the box? What is in the box? Salt. Are these mandalichas? They look different. Nope. Okay. Okay. Fall back! I just wasted them on. There's a lot of dead bodies here. Aha! The valve! Maybe it's around and back? Oh yes, a minor inconvenience, of course. A. A. Oh, 
Okay, might be a good idea to keep an eye on what I have and haven't made. You know, all this talking about uh, these people being liars and using those around them. Wait, what? Okay. It kind of got. It kind of makes you think, and it also helps you realize all lies are based in half truths. Or all good ones at any rate. Sure. Tyler and Monroe may have been using everyone around them. But they didn't help. At least a little bit. Maybe not entirely. Maybe that was never their intention. Maybe they were just trying to sell everybody something. But the fact remains. They did help. If only a little bit. What are you? Oh god, he's got me pinned. Interesting. You can actually hit them from outside the room. Are we? Th this place is an absolute maze. I think I'm going back in when I can't be 100% sure. Oh, thank God. Okay. Yes. It slides right in great. The plants are dissolving. Yes. What? The path is clear now. Hannah, you've been around for a while. I was wondering, how did Kim get involved in all of this? Same as everyone, I think. Tyler taught yoga, and he used that to get inside her head. Did he do that to a lot of people? He's pretty good at it. There's probably another 50 or 100 people who think it's amazing. He didn't invite them all to the retreat, though. It's only for the inner circle. Those who are truly ready. Truly ready to be taken advantage of, more like. Sorry, I shouldn't say that no it's okay it's true we were all so eager to be included we never stopped to think about what he was doing did you know about the gloom and the creatures that, that they were real not at all it was all about the prismic energy like i wanted to believe but i didn't think it was actually real and look at us now yeah here we are fighting against it more gloom i guess you'll have to see if you can find another way I'll be fine, Hannah. Okay, let's both try to make our way to the large dome at the end. Sounds good. Good luck. Thanks, I think. Remember that name. I'm important. Oh. I've heard of the Wall of Flesh, but this is rancid. What's up here? This is going to break, and I'm going to fall into the gloom, aren't I? Where's Mason? I think he needs to audit this place. Of course, if you don't want you to... No! Ow! Oh, no, 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 Oh, I think that went down great. Hannah, Hannah, can you hear me? Oh my God, Dad, those things, they almost got me. Are you okay? Are you safe? Yeah, I think so. I gotta catch my breath, but I'm at the Geodome now. All right, I'm on my way. What's it? Flag from the other side. I'm pretty sure that's red gloom. I can handle that. I don't <clears throat> need to get to the red gloom. I'm having some unpleasant. What? Red pineal orb. A red crystal designed to transmit frequencies from your. 
What's the pineal gland? Okay, so the pineal gland is apparently located just above the base of the spinal cord. Or maybe base of spinal cords down there. I don't know. But it appears to be the gland responsible for excreting melatonin, the chemical in your body that's supposed to help you relax and feel tired. I also found several references to opening the third eye and spiritual jargon, which leads me to believe it's wide's reference here. I don't know what the pineal gland has to do with any of that, and I don't particularly care. That's not my field of expertise. So, yeah, that's what it is. The tea. There has been little tension recently. Several non-approved friendships seem to be developing as per my previous note, to avoid redirection of loyalty, I suggest we attach negative energy to Lori during this evening's ritual. She has been showing signs of counterproductive questions after Sarah Ann went off the went to the other side. We might as well deal with her soon. Kind of sounds like this dude was playing puppet master. Game of sideways chess. Hey! Honestly, that could have been a lot worse. Another orb. Orange pineal. Orb. Better keep this. Uh oh. What is he gonna say to me? <laughs> this one seems different than the others. More muscular. Oh no! Nope. I'm getting really good at anticipating their movements. Green pineal orb. Jess, I'm glad you're here. The gloom, it was horrible. You gonna be okay, Hannah? I think so. What's the gloom like for you? I don't listen to it. It's playing tricks on us. I can't enter it again. It will make me think of Tyler. Anyways, we still have to find a way to get the mask. It should be through the door behind me. I just can't get it to budge. I'll figure it out. You just rest. Okay, but at least take my prism. You'll need it to access the other side of the commune. Thanks, Hannah. Okay. Crafted of Amethyst. The negative energy stored inside can be released to connect the dark thoughts of others. I kind of like the appearance of these new bloom things. Oh, hello, what are you? Oh, yeah. Commitment. Uh, no, I don't think I will. You know, it all comes down to... Why? Like, obviously to control people, yada, yada, yada. But a cult. You don't need a cult to control people. You just need a bunch of gullible idiots. So how is it, or what? What is the end goal here? Why? What? What? Because a, a creepy thought I realized a while back is the difference between a cult and a religion. A religion is a cult that lived long enough to be normalized. They both offer devotion and, in some cases, acts for some kind of unknowable entity and it, they generally if you follow this cults or this religion's rules theoretically you're gained salvation after death so what is salvation in this case what were Monroe and Tyler fighting for those are burnt bodies
I don't buy it. And nothing. Not even ice cream. Oh. Where are these things coming from? I don't even see them. Are they on the ground? Were they on the ground? Okay. Not supposed to be in the set because I'm definitely hearing a mandacore. I'm also running out of sanity again. See, see what I tell you. Then I spent roughly five minutes trying to figure out where the last orb was, only to realize I had the last orb and didn't know it. Anyway, here's a couple of funny things that happened while I was doing that. Hi. Have you heard about our Lord and Savior Artichoke? No? Goodbye. I don't like this. It's like Russian roulette, but with toilets. And that never ends well. What do you mean by that? Six of those things. Six colored orbs. One, two. Six color coded domes. I have. Six color coded orbs. Oh, I see. The only reason the red one is glowing is because it's the only one in the right position. Open says me. What is this place? This is the main ritual space for the group that used to be here. You can almost feel the prismic energy. There must have been a lot of them. Yeah, maybe a hundred, maybe more. Oh, no, thank you. You have my prism. Okay, this is finally. More on Anto? <laughs> Don't treat a woman like that, you asshole.
From dust he came and from dust he shall return. Then why are we walking? Okay, that messed with my head. Not now, Hunter, you're ruining it. I have returned to you. Prism begins anew. The light from the reflectors. That's how he controls them. If we turn them, they'll turn on him. I hope. Let's try. I see we have guests. Those two, kill them! Oh, please, never look at me. This complicates things. Tear your mind apart. What's up with the sound? Oh, I need to hold it detach. Oh, it's open now. Uh oh. Come on. You know, I just realized these guys kind of look like beef jerky. Okay, this should do it. Maybe. Unless Moron Anto is going to pull some other bullshite. Oh, I kind of just overloaded his brain. Complete chapter five in the main story. We have everything we need. Okay. Does everything feel scary, Jess? Does it feel like you're surrounded? That's cool. Right, the Lord of the Flies. Can never be easy, can it? Stop psyching yourself out, Hannah. Holy! Trust the process. Trust him. Okay, it's indestructible too. No, it's not, okay. An unknown trigger caused the gloomworm eggs to hatch and consume the toad body and vital the, the toad's body and vital vital energies. Leaving only a withered corpse puppet called the Wretcher. Oh oh, okay, well that explains why it keeps throwing up. The worms take on the role of muscle and tendon, dragging their ear vessel to the nearest suitable site, both for infection of additional hosts and for growth of new prisms. Oh dear, I don't have that key. I think I'm gonna have to fight the wretcher, as it's called. <laughs> In case it wasn't made abundantly clear, this actually took about eight minutes due to not having any 
materials to make weapons, and also only having one charge on my prismic abilities before having to go back up to the cabin to recharge them. So, yeah, it took a lot longer than I wanted. Okay. Now then, in addition to Dredgefoot, I believe the other piece of the key I need is here. What the fuck is that? You want to be lonely all the time. Please don't make me do more fighting. Have each other. Who do I have? You know, I think I'll just go for this. This put this because I know this will take me back is probably the quickest way. Jess, are you sure you want to do this? Once we start. There's no turning back. I'm ready, Hannah. Right. Good. I'm ready, too. What what happens if you disagree? Kim. Oh, thank God. How are you feeling? I have such a headache. What happened? I hate to interrupt. Kim, I'm glad you're okay. But we don't have much time. Jess, I need your prism. It's a real mess. I'll explain later. I had such bad dreams. About Angie. About you. Do you really think you can destroy the gloom like this? Maya. Sunny. Tyler. What? I can bring them back from the other side. I know how to do it. Hannah, no! My whole life, nobody ever cared about me. They do. Instead of trying to stop it, we can all be together. Hannah, it's the gloom. You can't bring them back. No. Don't do it, Hannah. You'll. <gasps> <gasps> Wow. I'm sorry. But you'll soon see what I do. Oh, will we? Okay, just want to clarify something real quick. I had initially intended to end the episode there. However, when I went to record the following episode, I discovered that all that was left was the boss battle. Hence why the original upload was deleted and re-uploaded with the final boss inserted. Please, stop this. No, I won't let them go. You can't bring them back, Hannah. They're not real. Who's hyperventilating right now? Sunny, she wants to leave us. Stop her. Do I know you? Seconds into the game, the game I am dead. Sunny, she wants to leave us. Stop her. Do I know you? Yes. Right. Oh shit. Jess, you'll be trapped here. Like me. Come to me, Jess. You'll be lost and forgotten, Jess. Lost and forgotten. You're still coming. I will eat your soul, Jess. Bruh. How about now? Shit. Where did she go? Hannah, where are you? Jess, please let me do this. Fucking lullaby? Wait, where does this put me exactly? What the fuck? What, what the fuck? Where is the button prompt? Where was the button prompt, huh? You know, rather than me just subjecting you to the next roughly six minutes of me constantly failing and getting increasingly irritated, 
Why don't we just skip to the part where I'm forced to cave in and look up a guide? Bullshit. Bull fucking shit. You know, for some reason, the name Nameless Dread sounds vaguely familiar. So, yes. Shout out to Nameless Dread X37X for being smarter than I could be. But as I said before, no game willingly. The only thing I could have I had that could tell me that I was supposed to do this is the fact that the mist was going off in one direction. Like I said, bull fucking shit. Don't you want to hold my baby? No. Okay, so now what? It's too fucking dark for me to see what I'm supposed to do. Never mind! Oh my god, we're, we're full circle. Literally back here. Oh, full circle. Back here. I don't even know why I'm here. God, is that is that oh my god that's that's Angie that, that one other person in there that's Angie
Ow. I think I'm gonna die. Ow, I am really pushing my luck here. Got the rain prism. She brought him back! Woo! I'm getting more health. Why am I getting health? What did that happen? Ooh. Yes, okay, Angie's down. There's one more. Oh my god, is that me? I think this is supposed to be me. Or Angie. Or, uh... Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> I have the flash. Did I do it? Did I do it? Wait. What should we tell people when we get back? Right now, I just want to get as far away from here as possible. Jess, remember when I told you about Angie? This looks like the place I saw her. What are you talking about? This is the trailer from the DLC, it just throws you right in? So it looks like there are different endings depending on which stat you have as the highest. Alright, press token for our first game, that was pretty damn good. I do have to question that, that last instance. Maybe if the fog or the mist had just spread a little bit faster, but when you're trying to get through an area chasing somebody while avoiding somebody else with a one-hit kill who can summon a bunch of smaller irritants, looking for fog or a separate area is probably the last thing on a person's mind, so still very good game. And that has been episode four of The Chant, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you did enjoy. I do hope that the re-upload didn't cause you any confusion. So given that my channel isn't nearly popular enough for many people to have seen this video, I highly doubt it was. Regardless, be sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell down below so you know when a new video comes out. Be sure to look up for the Gloom Below DLC, that's coming out soon as well. If you want to help support me as a creator of, in other ways, you can follow me on X and Reddit. Post all video links to X and the occasional memes Reddit. 
as well as you can go follow my group channel where I play games with my friends, my brother, and his friends. In any case, you all have a great day, night, whatever time of day it is, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.